all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that royalty. Yeah, y'all. Before we get into this video, this is what I need y'all to do. To all the people that saying Nick go live, Nick go live, Nick go live. I'm always live. If y'all can see the what the goddamn hair, yeah, the sub, the goddamn hair, yeah, that's what you do. Go to twitch.tv.com. Go to my channel, uh, which is Royalties World CEO. Hit my profile and simply follow me. You will see when I'm live. Yeah, they. What's up, y'all? She girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell y'all leave? So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna need y'all to start liking these videos and commenting on these videos more. You know what I'm saying? In order for me to appease y'all, I need y'all to please me. You know what I'm saying? Help out with the help out. What a nigga gotta do? In order for me to give a do a giveaway, I need more money. More money comes from more likes, more comments, class participation. Do you get what I'm saying, y'all? Do you? I really, 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 really need that from y'all, man. It won't hurt nobody. Won't hurt nobody at all. But let's get into this video, man. So zo has a um your story so we about to get into that you know what i'm saying um i'm gonna be posting on both channels uh on my main channel as well for those that don't that's not subscribed to it, it's royalties world okay um and yeah that's what we're gonna be doing you did so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned to all channels now get into it go get that toxic good long girthy dick and let him keep your life up i did this you tried that what you copy me that's my sweat that's my stuff give it back three words I I said said hey creeps and welcome back to my channel as you already know you can't fit with me unless you are a pop and that is pretty on purpose how you doing? Now, by the title of this video, you see that it is, that's your story. I haven't done this in a while, but somebody had hit me up my DMs was like, Zoe, you're not doing that's your story. Can you please do one? So I'm like, okay, let me go check the email and see what the girl sent. <laughs> and y'all have flooded it. So for those who are new and don't know the email, it is that's your story. T-H-A-T-S-Y-O-U-R. S T O R Y Y at gmail.com. That's your story with two Y's at gmail.com. When you send it, make sure you make your video one minute max, please. If it goes over, it can be 115, but one minute max is what I'm asking for. Get to the point. We want to know what's going on. All right, we do four stories. I give you ratchet but good advice, and I send you on your way, and hopefully, it helps you. All right. I told y'all I wanted to do this, but I told y'all to send me your story so I can make them story times. I can't act like I ain't have a couple people send stories. I was doing it on my uh, business phone, but I we can make an email for it. Make an email for it. Get into this first story. First up, I just wanted to say I'm a big fan, and my story is this: I just recently find out that um one day like on my cycle or whatever like i know i'm pregnant but i really don't know for sure and i just like don't know what to do like i know i'm not gonna ask for my family because like they're very very like what's the word like hardcore like they want me to do the best and all that other stuff but anyways i just don't know what to do like i need some advice should i tell them not tell them I don't know. Girl, you ain't got no choice, friend. You can't even get an abortion. Ah! This one, I'm Stop. just scared. Don't know how to tell them because I don't know how to react. And I just don't know what to do at this point. You know, like, real, real nervous. Like, I'm shocking myself because I just turned 19. I have my own house. 
own car have well my own apartment in my own car i just don't know what to do at this point i don't know should i tell him i'm pregnant or not tell him oh girl fuck them I, what who i'm thinking she 14 living at her mama house just don't know what to do i'm just really so i wouldn't scared. give a damn okay that nigga well friend first of all <laughs> Talk like you got some sense. <laughs> okay. I'm pregnant. Like you scared. I'm pregnant. Bitch, you was screaming okay. while you was getting fucked. Ah, ah. Wait, wait, she 19. Hush. Friend, you're pregnant. Okay? Ratchet advice, fuck your family. Word. Fuck them. It's your baby. Fuck them. Perry. If you want to get pregnant and you knew you could handle it, whatever comes. Girl, I just knew you was 12. Comes with it. Fuck them. Okay? You didn't ask them what they thought when they had you. <laughs> they had you. Fuck them. Okay? Now, I'm going to be real. This is, I'm going to give you real shit too, friend. Still, fuck them. You live in your own apartment. You got your own car, your own job. If you are independent and you're not dependent on anybody... Fuck what anybody think about you getting pregnant. If they don't support it, oh, well, it's a new generation. I'm not okay. saying everybody go out there and have sex and have a baby at the age of 19 because I feel like you, you you are young. 19 is too early, friend, okay? Um, I can't tell nobody when to have a baby, but you have a whole life ahead of you. You ain't even drinking liquor yet. You can't even buy it. Can't even go in the strip club. You got so much. And can't get rid of it. I don't want to say it like that, but damn it, it's the truth. Friend, you can't get an abortion now. Damn, plan B's don't went up to 200. 200. And it sounds like you a little past that, the plan B. So, John, what he got to say? Much ahead of you, and you brought another life into this world that now you have to dedicate your life to that and to their 18 and if you're a good parent you'll go past 18 because you know that's your baby you brought that baby in here and that's something that you have to raise forever <laughs> you brought that you baby know? in here <laughs> um but i'm not trying to talk down on you that's your choice your life and now you just have to step up okay yep. um if you don't want to tell them don't tell them and some places you can but if you can't travel to do it then you're fucked you know what I'm saying? You're fucked. I don't know if you could do it in Georgia, but I don't know where she at. They gonna find out anyway. And if they say, well, why didn't you tell us? Because I knew how y'all were gonna ask. And fuck so them folks. See, okay, oh well, what's up? Child, y'all, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all something. After a certain age, especially when you get your own place, fuck them folks. And I mean your parents, grandparents, all them folks. I, I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of judgment that comes out of the things you do and your decisions that you make when you become an adult from your parents. And then it's a lot of discouraging things that come from that. And, and truth of the matter is love them to death, but they not living your life. They not. They not living your life. They not paying your bills. Some of them not helping at all. In hell, it ain't for them to help. You on your own. You got out there on your own. Do you? But fuck them folk. So to keep your they did stress job. level down yeah. for you. because you are pregnant and to keep you from worrying and maybe having a miscarriage, knock on wood, if you feel uncomfortable telling them, don't tell them until you have the baby so you can have a good pregnancy, a stress-free pregnancy, and everything could be great. But if you want to go on and tell them and you know you ain't going to give a fuck about what they say, then girl, go tell them, hey, I'm pregnant. What's up? If y'all don't like it, oh, well, I live by myself. I take care of myself. I pay my own bills. Yeah. I go to school. What you going to say? All right. Well, um... I hope you and that guy are still together. I hope you've made the right decision. I hope he steps up and be a father and not a daddy and a sperm donor. And I wish the best for you and your family. And uh, yeah, girl, fuck him. That's your story. Hey, so how you doing? So I'm telling you about this guy I just uh, gave play to recently. Not fuck, but so anyways, I finally let him take me on a date. He been wanting me some. Gave play. Oh, okay, she got high school. One of them niggas, and. You know, he come pick me up, car nice or whatever. He can't fucking drive out the fuck all. So, finally get to the... Y'all, stop letting men come pick y'all up to take y'all out to eat and take drive. Meet that nigga. Meet him! <laughs> like, you don't... Here's the thing. I know that's cute, right? That little courting shit that used to happen back in the day. 
And what I what I mean, courting that used to happen. Listen, nigga, I can't go unless you come pick me up and all this shit. Nowadays, women can take themselves and you should, especially if you just not meeting a person because you don't know who the hell you getting up with. And Lord, no, I hope you ain't meet them online. You definitely need to be driving your own car. Y'all tripping. Like y'all acting like shit ain't crazy around this motherfucker today. The hell is wrong with y'all? <laughs> the restaurant. Well, he take me to the movie service. Go to the restaurant. It's real cute, real nostalgic. All the little OG games in there was real cute. He even wore the same color as me to match me on my day. Like I thought that was real cute. Anyway, he take me back to his place. I walk in. I get. Yeah, you went to his place. Stench. And then I walk upstairs. Room dirty. Air mattress on the floor. I'm like, okay, you know, everybody don't got it like that. Go downstairs, use the bathroom, is roaches in the sink. So I immediately tell him, like, okay, you got to take me home, sir. You know, you nice, you cute and all, but you got to take me home. And now it's like, I don't know what to do because he being real thirsty and stuff. And he real nice, he cute, but it's just like roaches. I don't know. Fuck that, nigga. Clean your house. And why you want a nigga who can't clean his house? What? He nice. <laughs> Y'all still doing that in uh 2022? That nice, she's nice. I just, I hate, <laughs> I really hate when women say that. Like, I get, you know, everybody ain't gonna be in the best of situation. Especially now, it's fucked up out here. But hell, he got a car. He was able to drive you. He was able to take your ID, which means he got food to eat and gas. Okay, which means he got enough cleaning supplies to clean out that nasty ass house. And which also means he could get a bed. Instead of him going out to eat, he should have got a bed. Hell, yeah, the bed I got, got it off of, uh, offer up, okay? I ain't even buy it. Somebody else bought it, okay? But the point is, you can you can get shit these days. Hell. Oh, I don't know what the fuck wrong with people. Y'all be looking at people like, uh, they buying new stuff. and Uh-uh, offer up. Amazon. All these places. <laughs> Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> these are some good places, Okay? So, sir, you could have got that. You could have got a bed. Yeah. If you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of me. If you ain't clean the nigga, I'm not fucking you. You got roaches. Now, it could be the neighbor house. I don't know. It could be but the neighbor house. But if they in your house and your house is dirty, then nigga, all signs point to you. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> and if you can't keep your house clean, then what about your hygiene? Okay? I got to go. Take me home. Uber me back. Marta bus me. Whatever it is in your no, neighborhood. No, you should have drove. Home, you should have drove. Got to go. That's what I'm going to tell you. That's the ratchet advice, girl. Fuck him, fuck his dirty ass, and get rid of him, okay? I don't care how fine you should have drove. he is, bitch, you're dirty. Period. If you want to get it. You should have drove. Ladies, drive yourself if you got a car. If you ain't got one, hell, Uber there. But most importantly, drive if you can. For real. STI, STD, and all that other stuff that you can write a hand and fuck him and his roaches, okay? <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with it. Dick probably smell like bounce <laughs> I'm gone. Now, if you want me to be, give you the real advice, um, some, some people are like, so that's the real advice right there, bitch. Fuck. <laughs> um, help him clean up. No. <laughs> oh, I, I, really, I would have been like, no. And that's another thing women do. They get to the house and be like, oh my God. This looks a mess. You have no intentions on being with this man. You have no, you don't live with him already. You, you ain't even had sex with him or nothing. And you over here cleaning his house like Molly the maid. No, no. What are you doing now? Every time you, baby, you'll come over and clean up the crib. Say, um, when's the last time you cleaned? Set yourself or, up um, for it every time. You got some friends in here. <laughs> Make a joke out of it or something. I, I don't know. Or girl. Appreciate the sub, broken. <laughs> I don't know, Jill. Hit on like, ooh, your neighbors must be dirty because I saw a roach in your house. I, <laughs> I don't know. Girl, girl, I, don't know. Huh? I, I, I don't know. I've been to somebody else that had roaches. I just overlooked it. But I did shake my clothes and stuff when I got home because I'm not bringing you and your company to my house. You know what I'm saying? I take, I came to see you, not to pack them up and bring them home with me. But, um, <laughs> oh, shit. Because, <laughs> I mean, if his personality is good, you can't determine that off a of bug. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. 
Well, depending on how many roaches it is. Because like out here in Georgia, they got water bugs galore at this bitch. You ain't running away from a water bug. <clears throat> now, water bugs look like big ass roaches. Some people call them big roaches, okay? My, my, uh, what you call that shit? My logic to it, like if it's a small roach, then that mean the bigger roaches is somewhere else. But if it's already a water bug looking roach, I can look over that because they always, they in Georgia. Like they in Georgia. You can't run away from them shits, okay? Um, but if you just got a roach here or, or like you go in the kitchen and roaches just pew, 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 pew everywhere. No. <laughs> no. Okay. That, that's a house full of roaches. That's how you know. If a house full of roaches, you go in the kitchen, you cut that damn light on and roaches run everywhere. You go in the bathroom, you cut that light on and roaches run everywhere. That's a bad, bad place to be. <laughs> Maybe he just don't know how to clean. <laughs> the small ones is definitely a different level. <laughs> but I'm trying to see how we can bring a bomb to the house. No, no. One of my exes were dirty, and while he was asleep, I cleaned the, his room in the kitchen. And um, when he woke up, he was like, oh my God, you clean? I was like, yeah, I just want to do something special for you. But really, it's because that motherfucker was dirty, and I was trying to show you, you need to clean your house. So if you want to do that, you can do it that way, but y'all ain't together yet, so it's not your place to the be. The big um, ones come from outside, and the big ones is in Georgia. Water bug galore at this bitch i don't care where you are okay you can be in in, in buckhead you can be on the south side you can be on the east side then water bugs is outside okay for real them hoes is different man girl, girl, but girl, there's more people out there who got good personalities and stuff like that who don't got roaches girl. if you want to settle for that and one of them motherfuckers get in your ear and you go deaf or you swallow one and you choke and hyperventilate because you them got them bees and wash too. They out here. I don't know. Girl, do what you do, but I, girl. What y'all think in the comments? I don't know. Help her out. Anyway, get the fuck up out of there. And that's your story. Hey, Zo. So I moved out my mom's house when I was 14. I was like the black sheep of the family. She made it seem like I left because. I wanted to go, you know, be with boys and stuff like that, but that definitely wasn't the reason, especially not at 14. But either way, uh, she stayed out of my life until I was 21. Once I had my daughter, um, me and her got reconnected. Our relationship kind of been up and down because she's still the same person. She never apologized for anything that happened when I was a kid. Still blames everything on me. Um, I have four other siblings. And they all lived with her at some point. And some of them still live there time to time now so last year me and her got into a big altercation about something that had something to do with my child and we fell out and she just popped up to my house one day and we got into a physical altercation she attacked me i didn't really fight her back because that is my mom but i did ask her to leave and she didn't want to leave and it got real nasty so our relationship has really been bad since then and we recently started back talking since the holidays and she's supposed to be getting surgery on her shoulder soon and now she's asking me to come help her clean her house and help her cook and do laundry and all this stuff while she is recovering from surgery because her husband the reason why i moved out at 14 will also be getting surgery next year so they won't be able to help each other and I'm the only one who is actually stable enough to help her. So I kind of feel obligated, but I don't want to. I'm trying to see what I should do. I don't know if it's wrong for me not to want to do it, but I don't. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them folks. First of all, she got other grown ass people there, which is your other grown ass siblings who got nothing to do because they still, <laughs> not because they living with the parents, but obviously if they stand there and obviously not paying any bills and clearly can't even volunteer to take care of her, I'm definitely not coming out of my house after you done came and disrespected my shit and I done left since I was 14, okay? 
because of you and your husband who now you want me to have bitch fuck you fuck him mom and all you got them other badass no good uh -uh. do nothing children in your house fuck let you. them help you bitch why i gotta come over there and help fuck you them folk. fuck them you let me leave out your house at 14 Hello? years old you came to my house Hello? and fought me Hello? and now you need me girl and fuck. over my child and got the nerve to have something to say i know you ain't help with this child i know she ain't help with that child you barely help with me fuck you i you and fuck that And we still sleep good. And <clears throat> still sleep good at night. Fuck up. And fuck your house. Fuck Bitch, all them folks. you can be friends with that other nigga. Maybe y'all can have roaches together. Y'all got something in common. Fuck both of y'all. Period. That's what I said. I said what I said. I said what I said. Man, man, Bitch, it. you can't treat me no kind of way because just because I'm your child, you got to respect me to get respect. Also, it's a thing of being your child, but I'm grown. I live in my own space, and you damn sure not going to come to my house fighting me. You're going to get your ass beat, mama or not. And if I don't whoop your ass, baby, you're going to get a good run for your money. Okay? Fuck that. What the fuck is you talking about? Damn, what they talking about? Period. Next. But no, now my real advice is go help your mom. Just because somebody has an evil spirit. I don't want to hear that shit. Don't want to hear it. Next door. <laughs> Y'all know I, I, mm -mm, mm -mm. She can go through the and Can't do it. I'm sorry, I'm already in the uh-uh. Uh-uh. Honey, so. What, baby? Oh, okay, I was just saying. That thing was going off. Your story. Okay, hey, Zoe, I'm a... I know, I, I, I didn't know if you knew where your other phone was. It wasn't. They both right here. Uh, I don't know. Real quick because you said one minute long and I'm trying to make it real quick. But anyway, so I met this guy back months ago. Uh, we was talking. We was chilling and vibing and stuff. And recently, I we stopped talking only because he was that type of guy. If, uh, if I'm messing with him, I can't mess with nobody else. But on the nah. other flip side, he was messing with everybody else. So it kind of made me feel like, all right, so you messing with everybody else, but I can't do it. So he told me one time if I if he found out I'm doing something with somebody else that he was going to drop me. And I stuck around like a fool, even though I was stuck. doing what I was supposed to do. Did she it, say, you say stuck? Me. And I stuck around like she a did. fool, even though I was doing what I was supposed to do anyway. But... Friend, I need your help because we're not even talking no more. And I'm still thinking about this guy, even though he's very toxic. Like, what should I do? You because toxic. I really act. Thank y'all. She's toxic. She liked him and I wanted us to go further than what we were doing at first. But he's sure. just being very nonchalant. Girl, go get your dick. Go get that toxic, good, long, girthy dick. And let them keep fucking your life up because that's what you want to do anyway. And Facts. I can't stop you from doing what you want to do. Go Facts. get your dick and let them fuck you, stupid, until you forget everything that you care about, girl, and put all your morals and your pride to the side to be yep. his little slave puppy. Because yep. sometimes dick is good, okay? But my real advice is leave. Leave. This man is manipulating and he's controlling and he's narcissistic. If somebody's going to tell you that you can't do shit and you better not do I mean, he going to be who he is and you just stupid. <laughs> you know, people hate when I get on the women, but it, to me, like when you saying your story, you already know what you doing wrong. Like you, you what you doing wrong, you already know that is dead ass wrong. Like... I know I'm stupid and my dumb ass stuck around anyway. <clears throat> but what am I supposed to do? I'm still thinking about him. Like then it is just the dick or it's just the money he's giving or it ain't love. It ain't. It's just stupid. Like these niggas do what these niggas do and y'all let them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I be like, okay, fuck what the nigga talking about because he going to do him. That's just what they do. But y'all let them. It ain't about them. They gonna do them anyway. Let them go do that with another bitch. Not you, stupid.
do stuff because they gonna leave you, but then they doing it and they toxic. Girl, you bitch, did you not hear what you just said? You was falling in line and doing everything he said, but he doing this and you like him, but he's toxic and oh my God. And girl, the fuck is wrong with you? Hello? What is wrong with your friend? Is know your love? worth. You know what's wrong with us, some, us, us people, what we like, we like things that we cannot have or that we shouldn't have. It's like we get a thrill out of having them. Like, don't touch that hot stove, but you touch it. You better not steal out that stove, but you steal it. It's like doing things we know we're not supposed to do or can't have. We want it more. And it's just, it's crazy, friend. Why? Why you want to be a fixer-upper? Why you want to fix him up and hope that he gets better? You are, you in love with this man's potential. Oh, he could be good. But you don't even give a damn about yourself. Because you already know he treating you bad and you just letting him. What interview? With, um, t send me the link. He, I believe in him. I like him. He got the potential to be better. Girl, let that man go and let him find himself on his own. Why you want to help find and build somebody, girl? I mean, I get it. I do the same thing sometimes, too. I know they're probably like, well, Zoe, you do the same shit, but bitch. And do. Girl, I'm not open to asking nobody for advice because I know what the fuck going on. <laughs> Obviously, she don't know what the fuck going on and she need to go. Girl, leave that man alone. God got him away from you for a reason. He got him out your life and then you trying to run back. God ain't going to help you every time now. Mm -hmm. You're going to go back too many times and be stuck. You better leave while you fucking can. Over there, but he toxic and he told me I can't do this and I better not do that. But he doing it. I'm doing what I'm you supposed toxic to do. Too, what are you supposed to do? Bitch, that's not what you're supposed to do. That's just... That's life. Girl, get out my face, friend. Oh, that's just stupid. Get out my face. You know the answer. You just want to go and deal with a headache because, girl, if that's what you think you're deserving for and that's all that you need to get, go get them. I can't tell you what to do. You will leave when you ready to leave. You want my advice? I'm going to give it to you. I'm sure your best friends done gave it to you too. But at the end of the day, you are going to do what you want to do. No matter what I say, it could be the best thing God can tell you. Girl, I took him away. I gave you a better job. $30 an hour. I got you a new car. I got your house. You're good on your own. And your ass will still go back to him. Sure will. So girl, do what you want to do. But you heard what I said. Go, because you seem sweet, and you seem like you got a good hand on your shoulders. You seem faithful. You seem loving. So why not get somebody who's going to give you that same energy? And that's your story. All right, y'all. Um, Help each other out in the comments. Y'all may have some better advice than I may have. We are a family. We can help each other, give each other advice. Some stuff I might have left out because I'm trying to rush. It's birthday bash in here in Atlanta, Georgia. Then it's meet your birthday party. So... I gotta record this, edit it, and get to pumping. But I want to give y'all a video because I love y'all so much, okay? Like I always say, God only made one you. If you don't be you, then nobody else will. Send your one minute videos to That's Your Story with two Y's. At Period. All right, y'all, I'm done with this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below and actually comment it. Bye.